Horses and drivers are lining up behind the Noonan Petroleum starting gate. Back upstairs to track announcer Vance Cameron. Pictonian Rush, Atlantis, How about Magic, Southfield Sandy, Back River Duke, W.C. Highlander, W.C. Mary's Buddy, Ocean Prince outside. Third race on the gate, top of the stretch. They're approaching a start. The rough end pacing, Back River Duke is leaving from the outside, comes W.C. Mary's buddy, farther out is Ocean Prince leaving into the turn, towards the rail, that's Atlanta's fourth, then away fifth, Southfield Sandy, into sixth is W.C. Highlander, three wide by the eighth ball, stacking them up is Back River Duke for Brian McPhee. Now tucked away in the two-hole, W.C. Mary's putty, Ocean Prince. He found a seat third. Up into fourth, that's Atlantis. Southfield Sandy is fifth. Then six up the rail, W.C. Highlander. In seventh, Pictonian Rush, the trailer. Halmack Magic, 30. And four fifths, the opening quarter mile. The rounding the panic turn, approaching the three eights. The lead belongs to Back River Duke. Coming out of the turn in the two hole is W.C. Mary's Bunty. Continuing third is Ocean Prince. Fourth to the outside, there goes. Atlantis, they're looking for a breather, and they may have found it in the second quarter. Back River Duke was halfway home. Here's the challenger on the outside, Atlantis. They were over to the half mile. Did they ever get it backed up? 104 and two. That's pedestrian by the 5 eights they go, and now they're starting to pick them up, and they're starting to put them down. Atlantis on the outside, now the leader for Webby, on the rail guarding the cones, Back River Duke, racing third is Southfield Sandy, W.C. Mary's buddy is fourth. I'll tell you one thing, the third quarter won't be anything like the second. 134 and one down at three quarters. They picked it up to 29 and four, and off stride went Atlantis coming for home. Here's Southfield Sandy in his debut coming on the outside. Back River Duke along the rail. Southfield Sandy delivers for Corey McPherson. Second is Back River Duke. Halmack Magic rallies up for third. Time for the mile. Two all, three and three. Well, there's the replay from race number three. We see the four, Southfield Sandy, two-year-old colt by Western Paradise, owned by Southfield Farms and Gordon McMillan, making their first lifetime start tonight. Frank Banks is the trainer. Corey McPherson drives, and they get a win, 2-0, 3-3, maiden record. Back River Duke second, and Hal Mac Magic was picking them up and putting them down, down the stretch, and get up for third, unofficially, 4-5-3, here in the third. In the drive for charity, Corey McPherson teams up with Metro Home Building Center. Their charity is the PEI Cancer Society on their way back to the winner's circle here in race number three with Southfield Sandy.
Southfield Sandy making his way to the third race winner's circle. Bay pacing Colt 2 by Western Paradise from the Cam Luck Dam, San Frangelica. Owned by Southfield Farms Incorporated and Gordy McMillan. Trained by Frank Banks, Corey McPherson in the driver's seat. The Colt debuting and making it a winning debut. 2 3 3 maiden record. Southfield Sandy in the third. <laughs> 